co-angler is described as an amateur angler who fishes from the back of a professional angler's boat during a tournament. My name is Nathan Hance, and I am the co-angler. Hey, what's up everybody? Nathan Hans coming at you again. Episode four here of the Co-Angler. I am in the car as usual, on my way to Lake Orville up in Orville, California. Um, gonna go see if we can put it on the spotted bass, maybe a couple small mouths, see if we can uh, get some big ones um, and see what happens this weekend. I am super excited, super pumped to get back out there. Um, you know, a slight delay in my tournament season. Uh, missed the March tournament. Didn't get an opportunity to fish that. And then uh, the May tournaments, I had some conflicts with my anniversary and my daughter's birthday. So um, anyway, I am heading up right now. Gonna be staying at Gold Country Casino in Oroville. Uh, we're gonna be launching from the uh, Bidwell Marine there at uh, Lake Oroville. And yeah, just pumped to get back out there. Pumped to have this happen. Um, Hoping to put some fish on the board. Um, hopefully some good weight come in. Uh, day one, I'm fishing with Daniel Shelton. And day two, I will be fishing with Drew Forrester. Drew Forrester is the uh, pro who won the New Gen Bass Tournament up at Lake Shasta. Um, so I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be an awesome weekend as always. I'm uh, gonna get out there, gonna make some memories, gonna get to meet some new people, um, and just kinda have those experiences that are, they just last forever. So, um, thanks for watching guys, and stick around, we'll see if we can uh, get on some fish. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. What's up everybody um morning of day one you guys kind of saw the drive down um i didn't give a little recap in the hotel last night i was busy getting tackle and stuff ready to go for today um i'm sitting here at the boat launch on day one uh waiting to meet up with my pro i'm excited to get out there so uh battery life on the gopro is about battery life's gonna be good we got battery sd card's got about six hours on it so um, we won't be recording the whole day, but we'll be recording. So live weigh-ins tonight, um, 3 p.m. West Coast time on the uh, New Gen Bass Facebook page. Guys, go check them out, and I'll see you at weigh-ins, hopefully with a big old sack of fish. All right, talk to you later. You son of a bitch. <laughs>
Yeah. You got a frog in there? Oh. Look at all that black shit he's eating. That's what he's eating. Yeah. Fucking bugs, dude. Fish. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't feel any good. Yeah. Hey, I'm happy with that, uh, yeah, at least you got one, dude. trailer hook right there, though. That saved you right there, huh? Oh, 13 inches, bro. Yeah, he should be. You got bolt hooks, I guess. There's one. What's that? No. You are not the fish I'm looking for. Hey. Go through enough. Yeah, we get it. Really? Just in case. Swinging towards us. It's got a little fight in it. Where's it at? Oh, it's gonna keep. Oh yeah. Probably same, similar to the last one. That's pretty small though. Maybe. If it does, it's right on the borderline. Dude, dude. Head, head. I got the, it's called the Bad Trap by Reaction Innovation Killer. On a darter, on a <laughs> okay. 
No. I can't tell if that one's good or not. It's a fighter. No. What's that? It might keep. My first tube fish ever. Hey. Ever? Ever. I've never thrown it before. Yeah. Ned rig with a fatty Z. I caught the last one. I literally walked it off the shelf. I put it on and then came right off with it. Yeah, let it fall. There's one. Oh, left feels better. I don't know though. Oh, yeah. It's fighting right. Uh, maybe. Never mind. Just a head shaker.
do got a fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we used to, like I said, we used to live in paradise, which was. Yeah, dude. A lot. Hey, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to hop on, give you guys a quick recap of day one. Um, it's the morning of day two of the tournament here. Um, day one didn't quite go as planned. Um, brought five fish to the scales. Um, sitting in 17th place, had just a little over seven pounds, not the bag we were hoping for yesterday. Found plenty of fish, as you could probably see from um, the video you've seen so far, but we could not find that big bite. So, get back out there today. Hoping for a really big day. Um, hoping to make the top three, top three, make the cut for um, Sunday. So we're going to get out there. We're going to see what happens. Uh, just go try and slam. So stick with us and we'll see what happens. All right. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> right back on that point we started at. And the rock up by the shore is nasty. Gosh. Our big 
Big's one eight. One eight. One eight. Okay, you got it. Okay. You got it. Good job. Okay. All right. Drew, you are boat number 10. Drew and Nathan up next. What's up everybody? Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick. I am on my way home from the New Gen Orville tournament. We just ended day two not long ago. Um, didn't perform as well as I wanted to. Um, didn't have the weekend that I wanted to, but got some fish, got some points towards AOI. Um, yeah, we kind of, we got it, got it going. So I will give a full tournament recap. Had a decent day today, uh, 10.80 pounds. So not a bad day, nothing to complain about. We caught two pounders, a bunch of them all day long. Um, it was a good time. I absolutely enjoyed myself. Love getting out there. Going to Clear Lake next week for what will be stop number two for me on the Wild West Bass Trail. So I'll give you guys a full tournament recap when I get home like I do with all my videos. And I'll see you guys later. What's up, everybody? It's time for a uh, breakdown of the Lake Orville Pro-Am. Um, just got this finished up. Um, pretty excited. It, it was another great tournament. Um, smaller field for this event. We ended up only having 17 boats. Um, water was really low at Lake Orville. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. You guys just saw the video. You saw the fishing. Um, it was an awesome time. So day one, I was partnered up with Daniel Shelton, or Sheldon, sorry. Um, it was a good time. We ended up going out there. We were on fish right away. Um, caught some on the Torrent Lure Company spinnerbait. Taught, caught some on the uh, Nico rig with the uh, Torrent Nico head in a uh, in a Cinco. It was it was a good time. Um, a lot of small fish. We never found that big bite on day one. It just didn't happen. We ended up bringing um, I can't remember exactly what it was seven something to the scales um not the greatest day um but we had a good time caught a lot of fish um you know i learned a lot and that's what it's all about guys when i'm out there at these pro-ams it's it's getting that experience part of being a co-angler part of what this show is about is to show you guys what it's like being a co-angler but it's about getting that experience you got to get that experience out there you got to learn something every event which i've been doing this entire year so um, great time. Um, day two, I ended up getting partnered up with a local Redding angler. Um, he actually won the uh, Nugent inaugural tournament up at Lake Shasta. So we went out. I did not have, um, <laughs> as you saw, I netted, you saw me net a couple fish. Um, you saw me doing some fishing. I did not have a lot of SD life. I'm in the process of getting a whole lot of new SD cards ordered and everything. But I didn't have a lot of SD life on the uh, SD card, so I didn't get um, a huge amount of footage. I didn't get any of my fish catches on video. Um, but again, it was a good day. We were catching fish. Um, once we got five in the uh, five in the boat, we started throwing around the uh, started throwing around the oh, I'm sorry, the jig. I was throwing around the Torrent Lure Company jig. It was a uh, green pumpkin red flake was what I was throwing. Um, and the jig bite just kind of turned on. Um, we ended up getting some good ones. I did early get a topwater fish on the Whopper Plopper, which was awesome. Those are always, topwater bites are always a fun time. Um, but yeah, just another great event. Um, ended up at the bottom of the pack on this one. I actually finished last. I finished 17th. Um, day one just kind of killed me on it. But hey, I still got a smile on my face. Um, it's what it's about. It's going out there. I had a great weekend. I caught a bunch of fish. It was an amazing time. And I qualified for the New Gen Pro-Am Championship. So <clears throat> that is scheduled to be in October. Um, 
one of the last weekends of October, the weekend before Thanksgiving, or uh, the weekend before Halloween, sorry. Um, scheduled to be at Clear Lake. Uh, California water right now is super low, so what's gonna happen with that is yet to be determined. We'll see if they end up having to postpone it or what happens. Hopefully we'll get some rain between now and then. But yeah, so it was a great event, fun event, had a great time. Um, I'm excited that I qualified for the championship, you know. Two of my goals, uh, my three goals this year were to make a top 10, qualify for a championship, and break my PB bass, um, which is currently sitting at a five pounder and I can't get over that hump. I've done two of those things. I have my top 10 finish. I've qualified for the championship. So now it's time to go out there and chase that PB, um, see if we can break that five pound mark. But thanks for watching the show, guys. 